Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Jessica, welcome. It's so nice to meet you. So today's video, I am just doing a third trimester update video. Why does he always do this? What? So I'm not wearing any makeup on. I just, last night was rough for me. I actually missed a appointment, a doctor's appointment. Exhausted, pain is happening and it's a bitch. Just did my hair this morning. Last night I took, a, I was disgusted with myself. Um, I took a shower, washed my hair. I couldn't even blow dry or curl my hair. Normally I do that at night. I have the energy to do that. Well, last night no. And then this morning I finally blow dried it and fixed it. So that's what it's looking like. So I kind of want to just like update everyone um, that's interested and tell them like my third trimester kind of feels. With how far along I am exactly to the T okay <clears throat> I am 32 weeks and six days this is what my app says so tomorrow I'll be I think tomorrow I'll be 33 33 weeks y'all 33 weeks so Eli is on his way I don't know if I told you guys his name but his name is gonna be Eli Stefan Sostarik I know some people, they don't like saying the uh, baby's name until the baby's born and it's already documented or whatever, but that's what we could come up with. And it's just Eli, it's not Elijah. The name's Stefan. I, th I think that's a very sophisticated, mature name um, for a middle name. My husband still wants to name our kid Ethan, which is my little brother's name. And I'm like, <laughs> I mean, my little brother would be grateful, but it's just, Mm. Yes. Again, when I finished my second trimester, I actually liked the second trimester, it was the best. Let's see, the third trimester, that's when a lot of symptoms started coming up. I started getting pelvic pain, my sciatica was coming back. In the second trimester, it kind of appeared um, here and there um, for a week or two. A week here and there, and then it'll go away. Well, this time, it's here to stay. It seems like so I am literally icing myself in the booty area and I'm also wearing a belt not right now but I wear a SI belt in the leg cramps the leg cramps are the worst and then also I notice I'm getting carpal tunnel in my wrist area like ooh, it's bad it's bad and it's all the fluid and everything it's just it's a lot um, I've also TMI have been constipated. Ew, I know. And that's making me sick. Er. So, um, not having a, you know, to go frequently and everything, it, it really creates all the toxins build up. Throw up every morning. Every morning, after a meal, before a meal, lunchtime, nighttime, doesn't matter. I throw up. And then finally starting to get back to normal. Um, but that was, oh, that was like a week straight. I just threw up. Also too, my energy has definitely decreased. I was gonna film a video, a different video than this, but I was like, you know, let me just talk. I don't wanna keep it too, too long, but my energy has definitely decreased. Coffee doesn't even help. Um, normally that does. I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. It feels like I'm in a dream right now. Like, I could just, but I can't sleep because of the pain. So it's like, ugh, what can you do? Pregnancy brain, it's there sometimes. But for the most part, I think I'm still pretty good at like, you know, I'm still able to do my job, perform my job. It just takes me a little slower sometimes. A little more emotional. But with reasoning, um, I think I'm more emotional because of the pain, y'all. And then the weight, the weight of the baby. It's like, oh, annoying. When I get up out of bed, it feels like I'm like, you know, and then also me getting out of my bed with these carpal tunnel wrists. It's hard. It's hard. It's like ugh, getting up like this. And especially I use the restroom at night. I want to say I get up at least five times. Five times. It's on my bladder, and it feels like I have to go like a like I have like freaking what's it called? Oh, oh, a fire 
a hose, fire fighter hose going on. But no, when I'm in there, it's like, boink. That's it. A dribble, a dribble. Still currently working. <laughs> I thought maybe I would get like six weeks before my due date that I would get out, do disability leave, but um, I think I'm just gonna do the four weeks. So today is the 5th of August. So my last day would be the 25th of August. I mean, I basically have like two weeks weeks to work two weeks I gotta hang in there um, I did go to my checkup you guys know this but um, I did have corona so they said I had to do another ultrasound just to check to see if the baby is growing properly and everything thank God thank the Lord when we went in there they said that everything he's, he's weighing almost five pounds y'all this baby's weighing almost five pounds which is what to expect after. He's the size of a cantaloupe. He should weigh between 3.5 to 4 pounds. He's like almost 5 pounds. This baby. He's a big baby. Um, but I'll show you. I think I showed like in my last clip like what the baby looks like. But I'll show you guys again what the baby is looking like. And what my body's looking like. If you guys are curious, stay till the end. Don't fast forward. Stay till the end so you can see what my body's looking like. Yeah, heartbeat's normal. He's growing on time. He's a healthy baby. He's a stubborn baby because she tried to get a picture of the ultrasound. No, he's all up on his face like, no. No cameras, please, no. He's moving a lot. It's crazy because like when I'm working or something and I just, it feels like an alien. I'm just moving around in there and I'm like, ah! It's like one of those scary movies with the walls and then their hands just go, yeah, it feels like that. Every time I saw that, I'm like, oh wow. But then actually experiencing it for yourself is another story. Tomorrow I have another doctor's appointment. I think my weight has definitely kind of steadied itself. I was gaining apparently a lot fast, but now it's kind of steady. And now I think all the fat that I have that, you know, that I got really fast is now just nutrition for the baby. Nu nutrients for the baby. Anyways, I'm exactly going to be born on September 25th. <sighs> well, from seven weeks from now, the baby should be here. It's so crazy. It's so crazy that there's going to be another baby. It's not going to be this little baby right here. He's going to get so jealous, y'all. Look at him. It's not you. It's gonna be the different baby. Hopefully, he, he, you know, he adapts really well with the new baby. It's crazy too, cause Jack is very scared of toddlers. Like he's so scared of toddlers, y'all. I don't know if it's because they're in the same length or the height. He loves adults. He's not scared of adults, but he's scared of toddlers. I'm gonna be putting up a Amazon registry. We're not doing a baby shower. I'm just not a party type of person. I, I don't like all eyes on me and. I mean, don't get me wrong to the people that do it. That's you. I don't know. I just feel like it's just. A little, I don't know. I get anxious, and yeah, you would think like, oh my god, girl, you want to be an actress, and then you. It's a different type of vibe. Just saying, a group of people. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be listing my Amazon registry on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I'll do that as well. Um, if you guys want to purchase anything, I'd really much appreciate it. It's for Eli my baby boy um if not it's okay i totally understand totally understand i never did this before like ask people to buy me stuff well it's not really me but it's for the baby so or i never really asked people to buy stuff in general <laughs> um it's it's up to you it's up to you so like i said it's up to you if you want to buy eli anything on the registry i'll have that link down below it's just gonna get harder and harder. So hopefully these two weeks fly by because I need to just, I don't know, I just, I just need time. I just need time to myself, not think about work, not think about getting rent. I feel like I talk to him, but not as much as I should. Maybe he knows my voice, maybe he knows I love his little ass. I don't know. So I'm gonna show you my body. The moment of truth. The bump. Excuse me, I'm trying to show people my belly. Excuse me. 
it, go get it, go get it. Go fetch toy. So this is what my body is looking like. From the front and then the side. Oh, I forgot to also say something as well. See, this is why my pregnancy brain is not working. I am getting crotch, or lightning crotch. He is, he's head down right now, and even when she checked on him, she said, oh yeah, I was like, hey, is he head down? Like, because I'm getting lightning crotch. And she's like, I don't know, let me just check. And then he was head down, so. She said, oh, there's plenty of time for birth and everything to have head down. But I'm just like, he's head down because, like, he's ready to come out and he's giving me freaking lightning crotch and it hurts. Oh, I don't wish that on any body, y'all. It's so uncomfortable, especially when you walk around. And I gotta take this booger over here walking. And I, mm. That's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching my third trimester updates. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Okay? Thumbs up this video. It'll really help me out. Also, comment, you know, any questions that you have for me. I'm a first-time mom. Um, so, if you guys have any advice, too, that would really much help. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Till then, bye, guys.